yes that was our top break and welcome back to section two of how to start small how to start with less capital and do business please don't forget to subscribe to my channel to like to share and to leave me a comment of other many ideas in the comment section so without further ado let's go to section two So now this is when you have maybe 300,000 Ugandan shillings that is um, around around 75 to 80 dollars to around uh, to around um, 3 million yes let's do 3 million Ugandan shillings or around 750 and 80 dollars which business can you do with that money Yes. that money can open a barber shop it can be a basic barber shop or a highly sophisticated barber shop both can work with a basic barber shop you can simply do just the shaving of the hair yes you get a space you rent a space and you buy a machine two things and you buy a cloth to cover someone with that is a basic barber shop then you can also start a hair salon it can be unisex or it can be for ladies or for gentlemen as long as you have a space where you can sit and plait hair and do basic hairstyles yes you can start a, a salon if you're in that range of money another business you can do if you have between uh, $75 to $750, you can do a grocery shop. It can be a roadside grocery spot or it can be a grocery shop. And you have uh, suppliers bringing in vegetables, fruits, uh, food, agricultural produce, or it can be a small grocery spot maybe next to a shop or next to a supermarket or outside a supermarket all that can work then please subscribe to my channel pause and hit subscribe now because this is good it's as good as it gets subscribe to my channel share there are electric fence and wire installations you could also do that business just hire you you could you don't even need to hire you get friends or other people who are interested who can do it then you start up you, you could design graphics you could design graphics for videos you could design photos interior decoration I do that too be a first hand clothes boutique new clothes or a second hand clothes boutique you rent a space you improve on the lighting and the space depends on how much money you have of course uh, it could be in town it could be a shoes boutique uh, baby's clothes boutique uh, it could be a men's clothes boutique women's clothes boutique pregnant clothes boutique or it could be all the above boutique depending on how much money you have remember we are talking at 75 to uh, 750 dollars selling women's handbags especially office handbags they could be clutches very good business you could go for that one too you could also decide to sell to do sales it could this time it's not a boutique this time you are buying and selling women's clothes or men's clothes or children's clothes you could decide to buy them online you could decide to buy them from a shop maybe in town uh, there is a lady i know who started with buying uh, women's underwear uh, women's underwear bras panties and selling them selling them online and right now as we, we speak she's big 
She's big and it's just a year down. So you could decide to do farm work. You could decide to, to purchase a piece of land, grow tomatoes, grow maybe potatoes, grow something. Uh, you grow pineapples. You grow produce that grows faster and sell. Because these days I sell from my farm and I sell at farm gate. I don't have to dig out what I've sold, maybe to, to, to harvest the maize. I just call the buyer to the farm, we negotiate the price and they buy and they harvest themselves. So I don't have to spend money on labor. You can do that as well. If I can do it, you too can do it. Oh yes, another point is investing in shares and bonds. Oh yes, you can look for companies that are selling shares and you buy shares. This is one way of making money when you're sleeping. Without even knowing it, you're making money. Your shares are making money for you. Invest in uh, soft drinks, meat products. There is snail farming. Snail farming is big businesses, especially with uh, increasing anti-aging products and uh, on, uh, on sale. Snail farming is good business. You can sell for food, you can sell for beauty products. There is also plantain chips. You can offer to produce chips. This can even be produced in your home. You produce chips and package. They could be potato chips or plantain chips. But daycare services, you could open a daycare. It even, it even could be in your home. As long as the authorities can verify that it's okay, yes, you're good to go. Gift basket, packaging services. Hmm? You could design gift baskets, package them, packaging services. You could also offer to package gifts at supermarkets. People buy gifts. You could just hire a, a space outside the supermarket. Now, there are some basic principles you must know. And these apply with any business, whether it's at home, international, local, national, whatever it is, every business. One, always pay your tithe. Always, no exceptions, always pay your tithe. Two, save. Mm -hmm. Always save. With every step you take, don't forget to save. Three, don't touch your capital. Grow your capital. It has to go in ascending order. Growing your capital is growing your business. So you, you grow your capital base. And last but not least is give. Always give. However small your business is, give. Get a small portion of it and give to the needy. Give to people who need it. Give to someone who needs. However small you think it is, please give someone. Give something. You could use a blessing in your business. It's subscribe to my channel, share, like, leave me a comment in the comment section and tell me which other business ideas there are. I would like us to talk, to exchange, to share ideas. There are, uh, my email is going to be my email is going to be in the comment section below. So don't forget to send me an email and to comment in the comment section if you picked up an idea from this video and you would like me to expound on it. Yes. Thank you so much. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and to share this video to empower and uplift others.